Yes, I'm leaving. Leaving. I'm long gone. Hey, what's up, YouTube? I'm Zeke, and welcome to the Dream Green Show. Today is week nine of my 52-week challenge where I track one company for the next 52 weeks. I'm gonna track their earnings report, all of their news, the good news, the bad news, and I'm also gonna do technical analysis on the charts to see if tracking one company and paying attention to this one company and their competitors on if I will be a successful trader by the end of the year. The one company that we're tracking is AMD. So first, we're gonna dive into my Robinhood account to see how I did this week. Then we're gonna take a look at the news and at the end of this video, make sure you guys stick around so that we can do the technical analysis on AMD. But in the meantime, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button. It really helps out this channel a lot more than you can even imagine. But let's pull up my Robinhood account. All right, here we are on Robinhood. My account is at $24,906. On the week, I had a pretty good week, up 2%, up $518.18. Right now I have a free stock, so I'm gonna open up that free stock. If you want a free stock, click the link down in the description for Robinhood. You sign up and you'll get a free stock and I'll get a free stock. So let's open up this free stock. I'm gonna click the one on the right. And I got C-O-T-Y, no clue what that is. It's worth $3.79. Okay, so let's dive into AMD. All right, here we are, AMD. AMD on the week is up 2.08% at $83.80. So pretty good week, pretty solid week from AMD. It struggled a little bit at the beginning, going down as far as 1.43%. So it went down 1.43% on the week, but it ended up recovering by Friday to be up by 2.08%. My position in AMD is I have 48 shares that's worth around $4,022.40. Um, my average cost is $34.42 and it's around 16% of my portfolio. So AMD do take up a big, large chunk of my portfolio, but that's cool because on the total return, I'm up $2,370.44. I am up 143% on AMD since I've been investing into this company way back a couple of years ago. If you guys checked out my last video on my technical analysis, I told you the plays that I was going to do last week and I actually took one of those plays. I bought one share of AMD at $80.89 on August 19th, 2020. So I got in at a good deal and now AMD is at $83.80, bringing me to a profit so far on that one trade to $2.91, bringing my total profit overall since I started to $42.53. So yes, that's another week that I have won with AMD. I'm not in the red. So far, I'm a successful trader. So it's looking like this challenge is playing out. Let's go ahead and dive into the news on AMD and then we'll get into the technical analysis. All right, YouTube, and we're back. I seen this one good news article on AMD. It says AMD climbs on bullish Cohen notes price target hikes so they have a price target they had a price target at $90 and now they're predicting that the price target is going to be $100 so it went up $10 representing a 20% upside from where they closed on Friday now this news is coming from Cohen because he's recently hosted a virtual investor meeting call with AMD CMO Dr. Lisa Su and he left the meeting very impressed about where this company is going in the future and their strengths inside of the PC, the computer market. They're really riding on the accelerated news from the um, seven nanometer chips that I've been talking about in my past videos. If you wanna catch up on everything I've been talking about, make sure that you go back and watch all of those videos. So AMD has been killing it so far. And what's really been setting them apart is Intel's delay on the seven nanometer, uh, on their seven nanometer chips, they're still on the 10 nanometers. And they believe that consistent product execution across the PC and GPU and server roadmaps could deliver an upside to the much higher gross margin target to 40 to 44% versus 37% that they had. So that is some good news that they got from the meeting that they had with the CEO of AMD. So that is very, um, bullish for AMD. If someone wants to go in on a call option with a price target of $100, it might be uh, very expensive and very risky, 
but that is what investors are predicting that the price go up to in the near future now one news article that i picked up on intel which is intel this is amd biggest competitor intel and nvidia so one thing that i say about intel is that intel claims that its new processor crushes amd when it comes to power and price now since i've been tracking amd this is where it just paying off since i've been tracking amd for about the last nine weeks I'm going to break down some of this and give it to you for real. All right, so their new, their next gen CPUs is going to be the 10700K. Um, and they're comparing it to the Ryzen 9 3900 XT. Okay, so everyone knows AMD is on the 4000 series. They're not on the 3900 series anymore. So that's that. But what they're saying is that their i7 10700K blows away Ryzen 9 3900 in terms of price and as well as performance in gaming. The i7 10700K is an 8-core 16-thread processor, and the Ryzen 900 3900K is a 12-core 24-thread um, processor base clock with the same 3.8 gigahertz boost clock to 4.7. Now, they're saying for the price, now I give it to Intel, their gaming CPUs is amazing. They made some great gaming CPUs, but they said even by price that they beat AMD. They're saying that they're gonna have a lunch price of $387 when compared to the asking price of $499 for the Ryzen chip. That's not true. You could get a 3900 for $400 even. In fact, if you go over to Micro Center, you could get a 3900 Ryzen for just $400. So that price is not even close. That's $100 off. So. They do beat them in price when they're comparing it to $387, but that's around just a $12 difference. But when it when you are comparing gaming to AMD and Intel, Intel is gonna win. They say that they were 23% faster in total war, Warhammer 17% faster in this game, 15% faster in that game, 14% faster in Rocket League. So they're saying that their next gen CPUs is gonna be a faster gaming CPU than AMD last gen cpu so i don't even know what they're comparing right now but intel is going for a reach right now is it a fair comparison i don't think so but when it comes to just overall performance with amd's threads and cores they're going to win most of them in any case when it comes to performance but when it comes to gaming i think intel next gen is going to beat out amd last gen and might beat out amd current gen because intel is that much more advanced than amd when it comes to gaming all right so that was the news for the week let's go ahead and pull up the charts this is what you guys been waiting for so let me go ahead and pull them up all right so here we are on think or swim we're on the four hour 180 day chart it's going to be very simple this week. As you guys know, I don't erase, as you guys know, I haven't erased any lines that I drew. If I drew it out uh, on week one, they're still there compared to week nine. So if you guys look at the price action, I've been pretty accurate so far. Let's zoom in right quick on the four hour. So I said it was going to trade in between this channel right here over the next couple of days. And it stayed true until the 180 day simple moving average catches up. So it's been trading sideways. And I expect you to trade sideways into this green line catches up. Let's zoom in on the one hour, 20 day chart. Here it goes, right right again, right here. I drew that arrow right here last week. You probably can't see it. I said that it was gonna trade sideways and true and behold, it traded sideways right in between this channel. Now, if you're looking for a place for next week, I still think that it's gonna trade sideways, but if you wanna look for some price action, while it's trading in between the channels, take a look right here on the one hour chart. It is a little bit overbought and it might have a pullback right here on the MACD. It's coming back down a little bit, but let's zoom out on the four hour chart to get a little bit more stability. All right, so it's not really oversold on the four hour chart, but if you wanted to draw a line, you could draw one right here and play this channel because it touches right there and it touches right there and then we're going to draw a downward one okay so you can look for some price action right here to break above or bounce right here and come back below 
and wait for a breakout for it to come back down or for it to go back up so but i do believe it's going to trade in between this channel i'm just going to hold on to my stocks for the meantime but if you wanted to play any kind of trades in between these two channels marks right here play this trade right here if you wanted to so but that's all for the chart this week over on thinkorswim so yeah guys i am enjoying making these amd weekly updates if you guys are enjoying it as well make sure you hit the thumbs up button to let me know that i need to keep making these videos also while you're down there hitting the thumbs up button make sure that you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos the platforms i use in this video was robin hood if you want a free stock click the link down in the description sign up and you'll get a free stock just for signing up and if you want to learn how to do technical analysis let me know in the comment sections and I'll probably make a tutorial video. But other than that, I'm Zeke, bringing you the Dream Green Show, and I'm out. Peace.